Back with you now about 913 and you know about every day on KOCO 5 News we talk about teacher pay raises or a lack thereof. We talk about budget cuts affecting the classroom. Just yesterday we reported that Oklahoma officially has the lowest teacher pay average in the nation. If you're like me when you hear all of these negative statistics you might think what can I do to help? I'm not a lawmaker. I'm not a lobbyist. I'm not the governor. What can I do to make a difference? There are actually some ways you can help with this. We are joined now by Christy Hayes with Oklahomans for Teachers. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, thanks for having me. You started this whole thing, Oklahomans for Teachers. It's yes. a group. It's a website. What exactly is it for those who aren't familiar? Well, I heard about our teacher plight and the inability to be able to get additional funds to get salaries caused me to think what other ways could we improve the whole situation so rather than increasing salaries how about if we reduce expenses sure and i went home created a website and asked people to start joining in put their information from their business discounts free stuff that they could give teachers Maybe if we made it free to live in Oklahoma, it would offset the fact that we actually don't pay quite as much as other states. I think it's a brilliant idea because, like we said, the, the penny sales tax failed, that state question failed this past legislative session, and we know that uh, a teacher pay raise did not pass this past legislative session, mm -hmm. and we just had a report that Oklahoma teachers make an average of $41,000 a year, which is the absolute lowest in the nation things aren't great for mm -hmm. our teachers. And mm -hmm. you weren't a teacher, no. not in the education field. No, You just kind of decided something has to be done, I guess. Something has to be done. I would love to see if we could get Oklahoma to have free living expenses for all teachers. And if you just think of the impact of that, to consider what it might be like for our state to actually be able to say that, we could attract and retain the best teachers in the country, which would only improve the economic condition of Oklahoma for everybody. So if we all pitched in, we could make this a great effort on part of Oklahoma. Help me connect the dots here. How are we going to provide free living utilizing your website? So people can go on the site, they can put in what their business is and how they want to contribute to mm -hmm. this program. We've got real estate companies that are offering discounted rent. We've okay. got people that are offering discounted services for mechanical repairs, for appliances. Um, restaurants and so it's just a start but I hope that the start helps us create even more so that maybe at some point it will be free water free groceries, uh, groceries. there's free there's so many things that we could make it do if we can get the momentum behind it and so just interviews like this really help because people will find out and they'll hopefully contribute their own business services a little bit at a time and we can get the whole state involved. What's really interesting and and I'm glad I'm getting to chat with you because this last uh, this last academic year I did teach for a day with Oklahoma City Public Schools and I sat with a teacher for a day and kind of went through life with her and saw what she did and just about everything in that classroom she had purchased herself or yeah. she had borrowed from someone else or she had kind of bargained for you know yes. and they're using a lot of their own money which we know they don't have a lot obviously right. to buy stuff for their classrooms you know mm -hmm. she said that her husband was getting on to her because she was making so many copies which can be expensive right are there things like that on here, classroom supplies that could maybe be donated? There's absolutely ways that people can contribute um, to the effort in that way. Uh, we don't have anything listed on there currently, but if okay. a person had a business where teachers could make even reduced color copies, reduced copies, etc., mm -hmm. I mean, we would gladly take that kind of information. And sure. No telling where this could go if people just jump on board and, and submit their ideas. Sure, if there's a, a photocopy place watching right now and thinks, well, I could offer 50% off if you're if you're a teacher, if you're an educator, right. or a principal, right, or something like that. That's that's great. Do you talk with teachers often about their needs and their wants? 
it's um, one of the ways that I began contributing myself is that I do I have I am a fitness instructor okay and so my very first way to jump on board was to offer free classes to teachers so I have now started getting more and more teachers coming to my fitness classes and they're totally free to come to my class um, and so I've been able to talk to a lot of teachers sure. about the effort in that way what and is what is one of the biggest needs when they're when they might be huffing and puffing but w when they're talking with you what is what is one of the things that they they say that they need the most in their in their lives or in their classroom well the interesting thing that they're sharing with me about the site and in, in general is that the additional um, recognition that they're getting just to know that people in Oklahoma are concerned for them has been a huge impact so while the discounts might not be as great just to let them know that we care about their profession and that we're interested in that we're doing something proactively to help them has been one of the things that has come up the most there's not one particular industry that sticks out I mean if you could call on someone right now and say restaurants we need you or photocopy we need you is there is there a certain need that a lot of them are kind of reiterating yes um, as far as school supplies they all need additional funds for school supplies they okay. need things for their classrooms sure. they need things that are actually going to impact each student and that's that's really where we can help sure well we, we had a story this morning I wanted to, to read this because back to school shopping you know a lot of parents are getting to do that too and back to school shopping hitting an all-time high for how expensive it is this statistic surprised me the National Retail Federation says families with kids in elementary school expected to spend six hundred eighty seven dollars per child wow. that cost that's for electronics supplies and clothing and I've talked to a couple parents about this and they say that the list is a lot longer than when I was in school or when you were in school because a lot of classroom supplies are getting added to the list. That's so right. parents are now taking on that added expense yes. because the teachers can't afford it and the schools can't afford it. Right. So maybe Oklahomans for teachers can't afford it or you can at least offer offer some type of discount. Right. Yes. We're running we are running out of time. If you can quickly tell us tell us again the website mm -hmm. and tell us how people can quickly help. Yes, please go to oklahomansforteachers.com. I've got a Facebook page and a website. You can add your business, you tell us what kind of discount that you want, you tell us um, what that offer is and it magically shows up on the website and Facebook page so that the teachers are aware of it. We'll also put that information on our KOCO mobile app and koco.com so people can, can and go find it there. Do they have to bring a proof or some kind of ID to prove that they're a teacher? You, you hate to think that someone would take advantage of, of what you're doing, but I mean, it could happen. Do, do Most businesses say, just please bring your, your ID. Some okay. schools don't don't even issue IDs. So if you don't have an ID, there's usually workarounds in that community and people know. So okay. um, it's it's up to each business. Christy, thank you. Yes, and and I love your you. passion. I thank mean, you, you don't have to be doing this. Like you said, you're a fitness instructor. <laughs> but like you said, you saw a situation and, and you wanted to make a difference. Yes. We appreciate your thank time. Thank you.